lost to a team that's now focused on the science and analytics of winning basketball. And quite honestly, guys, we're seeing more and more teams embrace the uh, analytics side of things. Garbage man, he's checked in for the Pelicans. The 76ers trail by eight. From deep, they grab their own miss. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Pretty bad defense, letting the offense get right to the rim, but smart play to foul once he was there. But you know what's going to happen, and they sent a message right there. Nothing easy inside. The 76ers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Well, this is an area of concern for this club. They only shot 71% from the line last year. And, you know, there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean, for the most part, the entire team struggled. The first one falls for them. And for the Sixers, their new stat-driven decision-making permeates the organization from ownership, Steve, to the front office, uh, all the way down to the coaching staff. Well, it's where the league seems to be going, Kevin. You know, teams are trying to think further ahead and see opportunities for strategic advantages. But, look, it's still a balance. You've got to have chemistry and coaching and those numbers will come in play, but they can't be the be-all, end-all. And MB drops them both. These youthful Sixers club really trying to play a full-tilt, open-court style. Yeah, they want to play up-tempo under head coach Brett Brown, and he said he doesn't want a controlled pace. He wants reckless abandon under control. Can't get it to fall. Got a pretty good look at the basket, but defensively they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. Here's the Cobra, defended by Stiankovic. It's Harden with the drive. That was good. Harden's got seven points. And the Sixers' aggressive style, a stark contrast to the way they played not that long ago. They were one of the most conservative teams in the league, looking to avoid turnovers and often settling for a two-point jump shot. The 76ers trail by four. The Cobra passes to Harden, and that Harden. is good. Harden's got his third bucket of the night. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. Now, here's Valanciunas. He feeds it to McCollum. Pass to Alvarado. Shot clock at six. And it's good. Part through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. The Sixers last season led the league in pace of play, shooting about 25% more three-pointers than um, everybody else. Even their big men took shots from long range beyond the arc. Really a fun style to watch, and I think it's exactly the way they need to go as they rebuild. Paul Millsap's checked in for the 76ers. Kendall Marshall comes in for Mr. Moves, and uh, the 76ers shooting has been terrific, 54% on the game. 35 seconds left to play here in the half. Elsap down low. Valanciunas is there. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Garbage man, the pass to Ingram. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. The Pelicans have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Ingram. Two shots. First free throw is good. How about the job they're doing drawing contact and giving themselves opportunities for free points at the line? My kind of basketball, Steve. No frills, straight ahead, physical play. No good on the second free throw. The 76ers trail by six. Now Marshall. Can't hit. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. And we finished one half of basketball. The Pelicans on top. They lead by six. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit.
The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Machine the beat really has his fingerprints all over this one. I like that he didn't force anything in that first half. His decision making was really flawless. That being the case, Steve, I think they want him to be more assertive in the second half. Look to take more shots. Be a little more shot hungry. Even the tough ones. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Mr. Moves out there with Little General. Then there's Harris. Then it's P.J. Tucker. And it's Embiid in at the center, locking down the middle. Here's Red Hot. Just five to shoot. Takes the three. Can't hit. The 76ers trail by six. With the teardrop, rebounded by McCollum. New Orleans has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Now here's MB. And now the Pelicans on the break. Slammed home and they call the foul. He's headed to the strike for one more. Boy, how's that for a quick possession? Yeah, it sure was. I mean, he didn't waste any time getting down the court, did he? First The Pelican shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And they averaged about 77% uh, from the free throw line a year ago. So this is a, a solid free throw shooting team. On the free throw, no good. The 76ers shooting at 51%. Really solid. Harden kicks to MB. And there's the pass to Little Jenner. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Yep, it goes Harden. in, and the Pelican lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Harden. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Passes it to Ingram. Lots of room. Here's Davis. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his third rebound tonight. And Bede kicks to Harden. Harris setting the pick for Harden. Top of the key, Harris. Six on the shot clock. Little general. Here's Embiid. The shot misses. Davis with some nice D. A baseline J. That one wide left. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Harden dishes to Embiid. Harden with it. Now defended by McCollum. Here's Embiid. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got six assists here tonight. That's two straight quick three-pointers they've allowed. They better not make it three straight because now all of a sudden you're looking at a hot streak. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Yes, Kevin, thank you. Monty Williams had some words for his team. He told the team he wanted their offense to run through red hot. Coach reminded them that he is supposed to be the key factor tonight, and he still wants to see that happen. There's still plenty of basketball left to play, and as we watch how these adjustments play out, Cab, it'll be interesting. And as always, Doris, thank you. And here are the Pelicans now. 17 points was their biggest margin. And the basket by McCollum. McCollum's got 14. Great interplay there between those two teammates. The 76ers trail by six. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. He kicks to Embiid. Fades away. That's good. Embiid's got five points in the quarter. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. And he's going up for the alley here. And it's Davis finishing it off. A surreal. Alley-oop 
at that time, partner. The pass, Clark, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. Precision at its finest. Yeah, and it all had to be perfect and in precision. That's not nearly as easy as they made it look. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Following the score by New Orleans. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. Pelicans leading by four. Kicks it to McCollum. Here's Red Hot, guarded by Harris. Here's Ingram. Hits the three-point bomb. Red Hot's got 19 points. Yeah, guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. Harden outside. He dishes it to Embiid. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. He's got 24. He's been a bright spot for them. He's had an incredibly efficient offensive performance. Steve, his shooting really has been just terrific. They'd be much worse off if it weren't for him, that's for sure. And the basket by McCullough. He's their go-to guy. When he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. The 76ers trail by seven. Little General the pass to MB, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. It wasn't bad defense, but he got overpowered. There's not enough strength to stop him. You know, sometimes you just try to avoid the foul, Clark, and not get in the way. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no question. You guys are right. I mean, he seemed to think better of it and then backed off a little bit at the end. Now, here is Harden. He's got 12. Releases, and again, it's Philadelphia. He's really stepped it up this quarter. Looks like he's determined to get them out of this hole all by himself. Feeds to McCollum. Here's Red Hot. 19 points in the game. Here's Davis. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got four rebounds in this game. They've been strong on the boards. There's no disputing that. That's what the box score says. Still anybody's game, though. Harden outside. Tradition out to Tucker. Shot is off. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Smooth passes to Ingram. New Orleans moving it around. No good on the three. This touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Harden kicks to Harris. Back to Harden to tie it's rebounded by New Orleans pass to smooth a floater and he gets it to go and the Pelicans lead by five Philadelphia has gone three of seven tonight from three point territory and Philadelphia calls time here but he looks like he wants to toy around with some of their sets and matchups here you know, I don't think you can afford to go through a whole game doing the same thing over and over, and you have to be able to adjust on the fly, just like he's doing here. Some changes for New Orleans. Valanciunas is checked in for Davis. Stiakovic comes in for the machine, and it's garbage man in for Brendan Hayward. Philadelphia also making some changes. Paul Millsap's checked in for Hashim Fabit. Dub comes in for P.J. Tucker, and it's the Cobra in for Little General. Now, here is Harden. He's got 12. Here's Millsap. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And that's now six points for Millsap. Pelicans leading by three. Paul Millsap, not the biggest or the most athletic, but he just finds ways to get it done. Yeah, he's so well-rounded. You know, he does the big things and the little things to help you win. He's a good passer. He moves without the ball, keeps your offense going. And then, of course, really developed that three-point shot last year, which made him an effective stretch four. The 76ers trail by three, and now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Brett Brown as he addressed his team. Their transition offense has to be a focal point, he told them. Points on the break are going to be crucial for the rest of this game. 
The second thing he got into with them regarded getting the ball into the post, saying, quote, the passing lanes will be open for us. We have to use that to our advantage and get the ball inside. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. Some big points there. I mean, they got them on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucks. That's what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. More of the same. Get it inside. Now, here is Harden. He's got 14. To the wing on the left. Harris passes to the Cobra. They swipe it. And New Orleans pushing it up now. McCollum with the ball. And here's Harden. 149 left in the third. Harris kicks to Millsap. And the call will be against Red Hot. That is his first foul of the game. And the Pelicans making a change here. Allen's checked in. And the 76ers making a change here. One forty-one left in the third quarter. To tie. And that one's good. It's a tie ball game. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc. There, big gap in the defense. New Orleans has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Cullen passes to Alvarado. This is to Stiankovic. And it comes off the rim with a high bounce. Not really necessary with nobody on you. I mean, why put yourself off balance on that shot when you're wide open? Harden dishes to Millsap. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Millsap's got the lead up to two now for the 76ers. New Orleans gone one of three from downtown since halftime. On the wings to Jokovic. That three off the mark. Philadelphia's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. What a game we've seen here for Harden. He has 14 points, and the assist numbers tremendous. His court vision, Clark, has been phenomenal. I mean, he could not be passing the ball any better than he is right now. He's gone two for two at the line so far. The first one falls. Roberts has checked in for Allen. And Philadelphia also making a switch. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Paul Millsap. Harden hits them both. Pelicans trail by four. There's 39 seconds left in the third. Valenciunas, and the shot is good. Alan Junis has got his second basket. Good job there, recognizing the mismatch and then just going straight up with the shot. He's got a major height advantage. Inside. Elegance pull it in. Stiakovic has got three rebounds now in this one. McCollum with the ball. He's got 16. Pass to Alvarado. This one for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Now here's McCollum. And no good trying to get that one. Three quarters of play in a close game here. 76ers lead by two. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And now a brief chance to view our State Farm assist of the game. It's one of seven terrific assists on the night from Smooth. And what you love about his ability to pass the ball, Kevin, is that it just seems so natural to him, so fluid. He's always in control, understanding where his teammates are and anticipating passing angles. The 76ers lead. Stojakovic is out there with the machine. And there's Davis. Then there's McCollum. And it's smooth in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. 
His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. Up top, Stojakovic. Good. And now both of these are really in a groove here. Already a high-scoring game, but it has become an offensive showcase down the stretch. Here's Little General. There's the pass to the Cobra. To the paint. Got a piece of it. Here's Embiid. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Embiid's got 32 points in the game. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. That's good, and the 76ers lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from McCullough. Gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. Here's Little General. Three-pointer. That's good. And the 76ers lead by five. You know, their three-point shooting since halftime is about as good as you could possibly ask for, guys. Now's the time to put the pedal to the metal, boys. Keep firing those deep balls and build that lead up. And here are the Pelicans now. Goes up at the strike. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And that's now 11 points for the machine. They'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential that they're going to pull this game out. The feed to Tucker. They set the screen. Passes it to Little General. He kicks it to Tucker. Pocket six inside. Three on three. Here's Smooth, and the layup's good off the glass. And it's now only a one-point Philadelphia lead. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary here. Here's Little General. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, they're taking high percentage shots in the paint. I like the way their offense is clicking. I like the work they've been doing in the low post, too. I mean, we've seen a lot of points coming on the inside all day. Red Hot, he's checked in for Stojakovic. Good on both. Look at the free throw percentage. Unblemished since halftime, Clark. That's pretty nice. I'd go farther than that, Steve. How about perfect? Here's the machine. There's the screen. Pass to Ingram. To tie it up. No good. And Philadelphia the other way now. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Harris setting the pick for Harden. Harris kicks to Embiid. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got three assists tonight. Wow, such a steady hand. He's the one responsible for getting them this late lead. Can't argue with that at all, Steve. His shooting percentage has been off the charts. Here's Red Hot. And a missed layup. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. That's good. Tell you what, they haven't exactly been shy about letting it fly from deep here in the second half. You know, Steve, if you have the lead, you can afford to be a little comfortable with the three-point shot. You just don't want to fall too much in love with it. Harris passes to Harden. He feeds it to Embiid. Out to Harris. Harden outside. And the pass to Little General. Harris kicks to Harden from outside the arc. Brendan Haywood with the rebound. Pelicans throw by seven. And it's McCollum in the corner. Here's the three. And that one's good. McCollum's got 21 in the game. 
Another good look there, and that's his second three-pointer of the game. The 76ers have gone 5-7 from seven the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Embiid kicks to Harris, and that one's good. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. No, this is when defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. You have to like what we're seeing from Hashim Fabit so far. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, Kevin, thank you. Monty Williams had some words for his team. He told him it's time to fight and take the lead. Let's put ourselves in position to bring it home. Guys, we'll see if they've got what it takes to get it done. All right, Doris. Wasted no time on that one. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I and mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Embiid's got eight points here in this quarter. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until they prove they can stop them, I mean, they have to continue to pound it in low. The defenders need to recognize and be alert to stand on him as we get into crunch time. Now Harden. Here's Harris. Again, Philadelphia. Man, great ball movement. They're just picking this defense apart with their passing. Well, how about the three Ps, Steve? Purposeful, precise, passing. We love it, and so does this team because they're taking advantage of it. He's off on the first. So he comes up empty at the line. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? surprising in such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely will you out-rebound in a corner like that and not have it pay off. Here's Red Hot. New Orleans moving it around. Here's McCollum. Will not go. This is off the front eye. And here comes Harris leading the fast break with the floater. And the shot is good. And that's now 10 points for Little General. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they've all ended with a great pass, leading to a basket, Steve. I mean, they are really sharing the basketball. Now here's McCullum. 16 feet away. A three ball. And the Pelicans miss again. The 76ers leading by six. Here's Little General. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Red Hot's got his third rebound on the night. McCollum with the ball, and it's Harden picking him up. And again, New Orleans has no luck. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. Yeah, and not enough defensive coverage there to prevent him from firing that time. But uh, yeah, I think if he's open, he's got to let that thing fly. Shooting for Philadelphia. Harden. Throw drops for Harden. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. Pelicans trail by seven. McCollum, a good finish at the rack off the slick feed. McCollum's got 14 points here in the second half. And he has been their unquestioned leader offensively this quarter. Harden up top. Another miss by Harden. The Pelicans have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. 
And here's McCullum. Here's the machine. Six to shoot. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Talk about being on his game. Look at the numbers for the machine. He has 11 points and also three steals. The motor on this guy is amazing. Completely revved up. He's been everywhere today. He sure has, Clark. Both ends of the floor. I mean, his offense has been great, but defensively, he's brought huge energy, too. Williamson. Two shots. That one is off. No good on the second free throw. The 76ers leading by five. Harden with it. Kicks to Harris. Harden outside. Back to Harris. He dishes it to Harden. Brendan Haywood with the rebound. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Goes up on the wing, and he gets it to go. That gives him a double-double in this one. 11 points and 11 assists, and Philadelphia calls time here. Seven left in the fourth. Feeds it to Tucker. Harden dishes to Tucker. Here's Harden on the win. Passes it to Little Jenner. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his fifth assist in this one. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're losing by six. 141 left in the fourth quarter. One left to play here in the fourth. Ingram passes to Smoot. Pulls up on the elbow, and it's New Orleans scoring again. Well, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Harden right side. There's the dish to Harris. 76ers moving the ball around. And Davis pulls it down. Well, I think sort of just playing this one out now as they get the last rebound. They really haven't had much success today controlling the missed shot. Davis with a screen on Hart. Smooth passes to Davis. You said it, Clark. They haven't really played competitively enough to stay in this game, yet they've been out-rebounded throughout. No, they haven't completely out-hustled them under the boards today, and, and that's a concern. I mean, rebounding, as we've talked about many times, Kevin, is about... Effort and attitude, and we just haven't seen it here. Davis. Two shots. Gets the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. convert on the second that misses by missing one of those that leaves them needing a three to tie it up not the ideal situation Harris kicks to Harden buries it New Orleans has gotten three of their six three pointers to fall here in the fourth pass to Ingram and Philadelphia grabs the miss and that's an intentional foul
Philadelphia has gone a disappointing two or six on three point attempts here in the fourth. Oh, get it! Oh, oh. watch out now! Oh. Well, that just adds to a surmountable lead. I think they'll be walking out of here with a pretty easy victory. Steve, I think that's a given. 35 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Smooth passes to Ingram. And the foul called on Mr. Moves. And that'll be his third foul so far. Philadelphia has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Good! And now it's a 9.76ers lead. Boy, they're extending their lead. It kind of feels like they're just piling on here as we come to an end. Well, hey, let's just call it what it is. They are trying to run it up on them. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They trail by nine. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. And the 76ers with some changes. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Alvarado. Knocks down three. the three ball. Jose Alvarado. And that's an intentional foul. Defensive foul. Brian Ross. That's his first personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the 76ers, Vladimir Mitsov. Taking two shots. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Launches it. McCollum, no good. So Philadelphia wins it. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Gentlemen, I'm here with Paul Millsap, and Paul in the game that...